Mars stands as the ultimate destination for humanity's expansion beyond the moon, capturing the ambitions of every major space organization. In this race, establishing a permanent base is not just an option, it's a necessity. Among the many proposed concepts, Mars Base Alpha, a vision put forth years ago, is now resurfacing as a leading contender, especially with SpaceX making rapid strides in Starship development. The urgency to push forward has never been greater, as competition is intensifying most notably from China, which is accelerating its own Mars ambitions. So what exactly is Mars Base Alpha, and why is it a crucial step toward establishing a human presence on the Red Planet? Let's dive in on today's episode of Great SpaceX to find out. Mars Base Alpha is set to become humanity's first settlement on the Red Planet, serving as a foundation for future expansion. This ambitious project will play a critical role in establishing fuel and energy production systems, making long-term human presence on Mars possible. At the heart of this effort is SpaceX's Starship, which is designed to transport both people and cargo to the Martian surface, ensuring the success of this groundbreaking mission. To construct Mars Base Alpha, SpaceX will first need to send at least two Starship cargo missions to pre-selected locations on Mars. These sites must be strategically chosen, preferably at lower altitudes below 40 degrees latitude to maximize solar energy efficiency and proximity to water ice reserves. The presence of water is essential for producing vital resources, such as oxygen and fuel, which will be crucial for sustaining human life and supporting future missions. The first phase of Mars Base Alpha's construction will rely heavily on robotic systems to scout and extract resources. These autonomous machines will map the terrain, identify optimal building sites, and begin the initial steps of infrastructure development. Once crewed missions arrive, potentially with teams of 10 to 20 astronauts, SpaceX will construct power plants to generate energy for the base. These facilities will also produce liquid methane and liquid oxygen, the primary propellants for Starship. Using Mars's abundant carbon dioxide and water ice through insight to resource utilization, 3D printing technology will be a key enabler in this phase, allowing rapid on-site construction of essential components and structures. During the early stages, astronauts will likely live inside the Starship itself before the base is fully operational. Given the spacecraft's spacious interior, offering approximately 1,100 cubic meters of habitable space, crews will have enough room to live and work comfortably for extended periods. Future Starship iterations, such as the anticipated V3, would provide even greater capacity, enabling a larger crew to endure the harsh Martian environment for months at a time. Once the main structures of Mars Base Alpha are completed, the crew will transition from the Starship to the newly built habitat modules. These facilities will include radiation shielding, dust mitigation systems, and specialized shelters for both personnel and equipment. Additionally, designated landing zones will be established to accommodate arriving spacecraft. Over time, the base will gradually expand, laying the groundwork for a fully self-sustaining Martian city capable of producing its own energy, fuel, and food. When the Mars Base Alpha concept was first proposed, an initial timeline for uncrewed and crewed missions was outlined. However, due to shifting priorities and technological advancements, those timelines have evolved. Musk now anticipates that the first uncrewed Starship mission to Mars could occur within the next two years, sometime between late 2026 and early 2027. If progress continues at its current pace, subsequent cargo missions could follow shortly after, delivering essential materials for base construction. The first crewed missions are expected to launch within four years after that, likely around late 2028 or early 2029. At this stage, astronauts will begin the critical task of assembling Mars Base Alpha with the goal of achieving operational status by 2030. To ensure these ambitious targets are met, SpaceX is making rapid strides in Starship development. The company has already successfully landed the Super Heavy booster twice, and a similar milestone for Starship itself is expected soon, an essential capability for Mars landings. SpaceX has also demonstrated the ability to reach space and will soon refine crucial mission elements, such as in-space engine relighting and payload deployment. Perhaps most importantly, orbital refueling, critical for deep space missions, is scheduled for testing later this year, bringing Mars missions closer to reality. 
With all these advancements, Mars Base Alpha is no longer just a vision. It is becoming an increasingly achievable goal. But what do you think? Can SpaceX bring this project to life within the next decade, or do you have other ideas about how humanity should approach Mars colonization? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already for more updates on SpaceX's journey to Mars. Whether it is Mars Base Alpha or another concept, establishing a base on Mars is becoming increasingly crucial for NASA and the United States, especially as competition with China intensifies. Over the years, China has made remarkable progress in space exploration, achieving milestones such as constructing its own space station, landing multiple rovers on the moon, and successfully returning lunar samples to Earth. These achievements highlight China's growing capabilities and ambitions, particularly regarding Mars. Former NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has publicly acknowledged the challenge, emphasizing that NASA is facing a very aggressive and good Chinese space program. China's roadmap for Mars is steadily advancing, with the upcoming Tianwen-3 mission planned for launch around 2028. This ambitious mission aims to collect and return Martian samples to Earth by 2031. It follows the success of Tianwen-1, which landed the Zhurong rover on Mars in 2020, and Tianwen-2, scheduled for launch this year. Meanwhile, NASA's Mars Sample Return Program is encountering significant obstacles, with costs escalating and schedules slipping. In response, NASA has been actively seeking ways to streamline the project, calling for proposals to reduce costs and accelerate progress. However, the results so far have been less than promising, raising concerns about the program's feasibility. This growing urgency underscores why SpaceX and the United States must act decisively to establish a presence on Mars. If Musk's predictions hold true, Starship could reach Mars well before China's sample return mission. Unlike traditional spacecraft, which can only bring back limited sample quantities, Starship has the capability to transport tons of Martian material to Earth, a feat unmatched by any other nation or organization. More importantly, successfully constructing a Martian base would grant the United States a strategic advantage in securing the most valuable resource-rich locations on the planet, particularly those with abundant water ice. Water is essential for sustaining human life, producing oxygen, and generating rocket fuel, making it a key factor in long-term Mars colonization efforts. While both the U.S. and China possess unique strengths and challenges, the competition for Mars will unfold over the coming decades. However, before that race intensifies, the moon will serve as the first battleground for space dominance. NASA has already made significant progress in lunar exploration, successfully completing the Artemis 1 mission and preparing for Artemis 2 in 2026. The real focus, however, will be on Artemis 3 and subsequent missions, which will involve crewed landings on the moon using SpaceX's Starship Human Landing System and, later, Blue Origin's Lunar Lander. These missions will target the moon's South Pole, an area believed to contain significant water ice deposits that could support human life and fuel production. In preparation for lunar-based construction, NASA has been conducting a series of robotic lander missions. Last year's efforts were followed by the recent Blue Ghost mission and upcoming missions like IM-2 and Griffin will further explore the presence of water ice. These initiatives will lay the groundwork for establishing a long-term human presence on the moon. China, following a similar strategy, has also set its sights on the moon's South Pole. The country has already demonstrated its capabilities by successfully landing rovers on both the near and far sides of the moon, as well as retrieving and returning lunar samples. These achievements provide a strong foundation for China's lunar ambitions, which includes sending astronauts to the moon around 2030 and beginning construction of a lunar base within the following five years. If all goes according to plan, China's moon base could be operational by 2035. While NASA currently holds a lead in this race, maintaining that advantage requires continuous progress. SpaceX's rapid development of Starship and Starship HLS will be instrumental in achieving these objectives. One of the most crucial technologies needed for success is in-orbit refueling, which will enable missions to the Moon and Mars by allowing Starship to carry larger payloads and travel greater distances. 
This system is expected to undergo testing later this year, marking a significant step forward in deep space travel. To streamline lunar-based construction, SpaceX has proposed an innovative strategy, transforming Starship itself into a mobile base. This approach could significantly reduce costs and logistical challenges, providing a competitive edge for the U.S. over China in the race for lunar dominance. The rivalry between the U.S. and China in space is intensifying, and whether it's on the moon or Mars, competition will drive technological advancements and ambitious missions. With strong support from SpaceX, NASA must continue making bold strides to secure leadership in this new era of space exploration. Shifting focus to our final piece of news today, significant updates are emerging regarding Ariane 6 in Europe. Ariane Space is currently preparing for the upcoming launch of Ariane 6, which they are touting as the vehicle's first commercial mission. The rocket is set to launch the CSO-3 re reconnaissance satellite on February 26th, marking a crucial milestone following its debut flight last July. David Cavallos, the new CEO of Ariane Space, has expressed confidence in the future of Ariane 6, stating, This marks the start of the Ariane 6 operating phase, and it's an honor to open this new era for Ariane Space. Kavailas took over leadership after former CEO Stefan Israel stepped down in January. Ariane Space has ambitious plans for Ariane 6, aiming to conduct five launches this year alone. Kavailas further emphasized, We have a very steep ramp-up plan. This year, we target to achieve five flights of Ariane 6, the first one being in February, and then we want to reach our target cadence as soon as possible. By target cadence, I mean between 9 and 10 launches per year. While these goals are impressive, achieving them will be a significant challenge. The debut flight of Ariane 6 encountered several technical issues, and details regarding the extent of these problems remain scarce. Additionally, the upcoming mission originally scheduled for last year has already faced delays, raising concerns about whether Ariane Space can maintain the ambitious launch cadence they envision. Unlike SpaceX, which has mastered rapid rocket reusability, Ariane 6 follows a more traditional expendable launch model. This means that increasing launch frequency will require significant manufacturing and logistical efforts. Given these factors, it remains uncertain whether Ariane 6 will be able to achieve 5 flights this year, let alone 10 per year in the future. For now, the primary goal for Ariane Space should be to successfully demonstrate Ariane 6's reliability and performance. If the upcoming mission proceeds smoothly, it'll mark a crucial step forward for Europe's space ambitions. However, in terms of competing with major players like SpaceX, significant advancements will still be needed in the coming years. With so many developments unfolding across the space industry, from the Moon and Mars race between the US and China, to Europe's push with Ariane 6, the future of space exploration is more exciting than ever. Let's hope that innovation and progress continue at a rapid pace, shaping the next era of human expansion beyond Earth. And so ends another episode of Great SpaceX. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Kevin, and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you as long as you keep looking up.